Hello and welcome to What's in the Box here at Mapping Key Gaming. My name is Emmanuel and today we are looking at what's in the box of Psychic Pizza Deliveries. Go to the Ghost Town. Ooh. From BoardGameTables.com. Now, BoardGameTables.com have gone now and they used to make custom board game tables, or I guess they still make custom board game tables. But now they've branched off into making their own games. And so this was part of a Kickstarter that that they've done. And I saw it and I said, wow, it looks super unique. And so I picked it up. Now down here, down here towards the bottom, it does say that it is from, no, I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, Hayato Kisaregi and Ryu Niamo, I think, maybe. Like I said, apologies if I got it wrong. And then here, we see the the back, and it doesn't give us too much information on it. Let's see on the sides. The sides here, it does say that it is that it is for thirty to forty minutes, and for two to four players, and one game master. Huh. Interesting. Psychic Pizza Deliveries go to the ghost town. It's a chilly night in ghost town and you'll need all your wits and courage to deliver the pizza while it's still hot. Uh, I mean, that sounds like every day of my life, right? So let's uh, crack it open and see uh, what we've got here going on in the ghost town and uh, how we're going to deliver some pizzas. So. And so while I'm here taking off the plastic, uh, if you like this kind of content, please give us a like and subscribe. And then uh, down in the comments, why don't you uh, let me know uh, what's your favorite pizza? Mine personally is pepperoni. I know, it sounds pretty basic, but I don't need barbecue chicken. I don't need Hawaiian. I don't need uh, pineapple and, uh, you know, ham. I like red pizza sauce. I don't need uh, any, any of that white stuff either. And here we have the inside of the box. So the first thing I do want to point out here is that the lid and the box are part of the game. The game master will be using these as he orchestrates what is going on. So here I do see one, two, three, tell deliverer if they moved, tell deliverer where adjacent fences are. Okay. And then three, in the eight spaces surrounding the deliverer, share how many ghosts, how many pizzas, and how many homes. Okay. So this is maybe a, uh, a thing where the game master maybe sets up the field and you as players have to, have to kind of figure it out and navigate it something uh, similar to a uh, minesweeper for people that uh, remember that game off of uh, on the computer might be something like that so here the very first thing I see are ghosts in the package but here let's get these out of the way they gave us four pens so four dry um, excuse me they gave us four dry erase markers so we have those there the next thing that I see here are some challenge cards. So here, I can crack that open really quick here. So what I see here is four deliverers challenge. Okay. Four deliverers. Okay. Three challenge. Okay. Two and then four, three, and then two again. And then here it looks like this m might be a setup of what the board would look like. And like I said, Minesweeper, right? You don't know, you're just trying to figure out where everything is. Cool. So those seem to be the challenges. Uh, let's throw them right here. And now we have this little package of goodies. So in the big box here, we have meeples. Some skinny looking meeples. So okay makes sense right skinny pizza delivery guys skinny meeples makes sense 
And then we have some houses here. One green, two red, and then two yellow. Cool. We have, we have one of these silica gels. Don't eat that. And then here it looks like we have... What is that? Is that like a... That, that looks like a pepper and cheese and maybe that's pepperoni. So maybe these are pizza toppings. And then here we have three bags of different ghosts. Cool. And then here we have a deck of cards. So here on the back of the cards, we have the city with a psychic swirl. Ooh. And then here we have anti-ghost barrier. Okay. Stasis. Stasis. Lion. Sprint. Okay. Maybe this is... Okay, maybe this is how you can move. Diagonal sprint. Hmm. Psychic eye. Pizza sense. Latitudinal vision. Okay. Interesting. Longitudinal vision, visions. Okay. So those are the cards that come in that deck right there. They give us one extra baggie. And then, wow, okay, this is still kind of heavy, this this box. There's stuff here on the bottom. Okay, so that is the inside of the box there. And you can see the board, or in this case, I guess the map, where the Game Master is going to be uh, setting up the game board. And then it gives you a little compass there. Huh, interesting. And then deliveries. Huh, really cool. And then, so this was the stuff that was layered on the bottom of the box. And so the very first thing I see here is it looks to be the rule book. And again, it gives us the one game master and then two to four players, 30 minutes. It doesn't give us an age though, but it does give us the components right here, the objective, and then the setup. Objective. In this game, the players are divided into pizza deliverers who deliver pizzas and the mayor who rules the ghost town. The mayor builds the town and tells players what is around them as they explore the paranormal darkness of the town. The mayor should fully immerse themselves in the role. Don't be afraid to ham up the theatrics. This is your time to shine. The pizza deliverers compete with each other to find and deliver a pizza first. So there you go. That's the basic of the, of the objective there. And then there's the uh, setup. Crack it open here a bit. So we have a basic overview here about what's going on. And then it looks like we have an example on the sides. And then kind of the same thing here. Cool. And then end of game. And uh, there is an optional variant. And uh, just some other little details. And the credits. So that is the instructions. And then we have some little tokens here. Cool. So it looks like, yeah, we have the pizzas here or the ingredients it looks like there's a cat here is that a pig boy what is going on with this game <laughs> and they are double-sided the tokens cool and then this is an advertisement for boardgametables.com so if you're interested in any of their other games i do have actually a couple of their games here so you may be seeing them uh, pop up on the channel here soon and this is more about the bags and then the tables. Awesome. Now this right here. When a player moves onto a space with a... And which gives you the, gives you the symbols right here. And then what happens? Awesome. Awesome. And then this is the mayor's reference sheet. So that, you know, you know what's going on. And then here we have... When a player attacks a space, and this is the other side of the mayor's reference sheet, so that he knows what to do. That's cool. And then the town building guide, so no one is lost. <laughs> uh, make sure that no part of the map is inaccessible. Each pizza deliverer's start location tile 
does not have any other tiles adjacent to it and each space of the map only has one tile on it. Okay. So I guess this is to help you out when building it up and then the Psychic's card appendix. Ooh. So we know what's going on there. Okay, so it looks like each character is going to get their own game board. See, I'm good here. I know there's a little bit of glare because it does have that film on top or that layer on top for the uh, dry erase markers here to be able to mark on it so you know what's what. And then it does give you a little table here to kind of figure out uh, what you're going to be drawing so that you, you have an idea of where things are. And then it looks like a, a little picture of your character. Of the different Psychic uh, Pizza Deliverers. That is everything that comes in the box of Psychic Pizza Deliverers Go to the Ghost Town. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. And uh, like I said before, if you like this kind of content, give us a like and subscribe. And I do have more games from them. Until next time. I ain't afraid of no ghost.